Hey, you guys, we are getting ready to start our sleep class. And so as we're waiting for people to join us live, uh, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Caroline Lee, and I am a diamond wellness advocate with doTERRA. And I've been using essential oils now for over seven years, and it has revolutionized my life and, um, and my family's life. So much so, so that it has changed like how I deal with health um, situations that are happening. And um, thank you for joining me, guys. As soon as you come in, go ahead and type in the comment section. Let me know that you're here. Say hello and where you're, where you're coming from, like where you live, so we know. But the uh, way we're waiting for more people to come on, I'm going to just talk. So make sure that you comment below so that will let me know that you are attending the class. So uh, make sure that you're commenting. I'll ask, be asking questions uh, during this. And um, those that are answering those questions in the comments um, will um, get that free ebook at the end. So it's really crucial that you interact with me during this class and we're going to try out how a Facebook live class will work versus my traditional method. So I'm glad that Jessica and Carrie were able to join us. Looks like there's a third person and I'm not sure exactly who that is. Oh, Ginger. Hey, welcome Ginger. Um, so as you guys are popping on, just make sure that throughout the class, when I ask a question, go ahead and type it in the comment section so we can have some interaction as well. So it, essential oils have totally changed our family's lives. Um, it's something that has really empowered our family's um, health, and it's particular with my, um, I had some serious health issues that I really struggled with for many years that have really helped um, bring me to the natural world. And so I love how I can use one drop really quickly and if, and it will be quite effective and potent and I can see results within minutes um, sometimes so that's really really exciting so um, I hosted hopefully you guys have all seen the what is the essential oil video in the event page and if you haven't go ahead and make sure that you go watch that because so I'm not going to go into the details of the what the essential oil is because that's in an, an essential oil one-on-one -on -one class so you can contact the person who invited you for more information on that uh, but we're going to kind of target some specific things uh, when it, when it comes to using aromatherapy with essential essential oils so with that i'm going to go ahead and dive into the class I've got some amazing things to share with you so for thousands of years Essential oils have been utilized for their calming and soothing properties. And anciently, calming oils were used for things like meditation, aromatherapy, and even things like religious ceremonies or rituals. The method of using the essential oil to promote relaxing and calming feelings has remained popular throughout the years because essential oils provide a natural yet effective way to, of calming the mind and the body. Um, thanks for joining me, Audra. As we go through this, uh, make sure that you comment below if I ask a question so that you can earn that free ebook at the end. All right, so because essential oils are so potent and powerful, they provide quick and rather, um, rather very fast. I guess that's the same thing as quick, right? Uh, fast results, which makes um, them useful for promoting a good night's rest. And not only can essential oils with a calming and soothing nature help relax the body and mind before going to bed, um, but the comforting aroma of essential oils can also create an environment that is conducive to sleep, um, which is really important for us. So we often worry about everything um, we should be doing during the day to maintain our good health. And we're concerned about getting regular exercise and having a healthy diet, managing our emotional health, and a dozen other factors that can influence how we feel. Um, however, we often neglect a major part of good health, and that is getting a good night's sleep. Uh, for most of us, we have a busy work schedule, we have demands on the, uh, our family, and the endless to-do lists keep us from getting the rest that we need. 
And I know, like, Cammy, you have a young family, so you totally know how that is, right? They, they're all about your business, right? You're, nothing ever stays the same with them. So while, we, um, um, while the amount of necessary sleep will vary from person to person, experts suggest that adults should get between seven and eight hours of sleep per night. And many of us have the best intentions of getting adequate sleep. But it's hard to keep that in mind and relax your body after a full day of stress or activities. Uh, you may think that the only consequence of losing sleep are feelings of um, tiredness or cranky the next day. However, sleep deprivation can have a significant impact on our mental and physical health. And without proper sleep, we put ourselves at the risk for serious health conditions and issues that can impact our quality of life. And so um, sleep deprivation can make it difficult for us to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight, um, can no negatively influence our emotions and, and how we behave during the day. And my four-year-old is a good indication <laughs> of, of that, right? When she doesn't have a good night's sleep, she's uh, very whiny and it's not a very good day when she doesn't get a nap. So it also can impact how we learn or influence our motivational levels. So getting up and going to do something is really hard to do when you haven't gotten enough sleep. Um, can also um, have a negative impact on nearly all of the body's organs, organ systems. Okay, and that influences our entire health. And so we wanna make sure that our body has what it needs to run efficiently, right? Um, sleep deprivation, last thing, can influence our reaction time and our ability to drive safely. And thousands of accidents every single year are caused by dry, drowsy drivers. Um, and so that's something that we can fix. We can make sure that we are well rested. So um, sleep deprivation um, can have a negative effect on how we feel each day. Giving quality sleep um, re become really important for us to improve that. So... So many people, improper sleep is the result of circumstances outside of their control, and it's difficult to get a good night's rest, um, especially when you're interrupted by a child or a newborn or a dog or a cat, you know, um, several times throughout the night. Um, we have now, uh, we don't have our doggy door, and so sometimes we have to wake up in the middle of the night and let our dog out. You know, so it's sometimes that just messes up your schedule. Maybe you have to work late that night or you have a busy morning. And so you are thinking about all the things you have to get done. Um, if you have tried to get a, a really good quality of sleep and still feel like you can't get your mind or your body to quiet down, you might need some extra help. And I'm going to talk to you a lot about what we can use for that help. That's why you guys are tuning in, right? So why don't you guys um, make a comment for me as, I, as you guys are tuning in really quickly. And um, why don't you tell me just uh, a really quick, a number of uh, maybe days that you feel like you get a good night's sleep in a week. So go ahead and just type that in the comment section. Let me know um, that you're still with me and you're still watching me um, with how many night, days a week you feel like you get a good night's rest. Now, so some of the things that we can do uh, are lifestyle choices that can help, uh, um, help us with getting a good night's rest. So you can do your best to eat healthy throughout the day. You can create an environment that promotes a good night's rest. So making sure that your room is um, dark enough for you to sleep, um, um, that are not too hot or not too cold, um, that it's quiet for you to sleep. Um, Let's see, we can avoid stimulants like alcohol, nicotine, or caffeine throughout the day, and especially before we go to bed. Uh, make sure that we have adequate bedding. Um, we might need to buy a new pillow or a mattress if it's been too long. Um, following, and I, you know what, I don't know about you, but when I travel, I, I really sometimes want to take my pillow with me because I never know like um, how well I'm going to sleep. So. Um, sometimes having that right pillow really makes a difference. Um, for those who follow a regular exercise routine, 
that can actually help you sleep better. But if you exercise too close to bedtime, your body may not be able to fall asleep. It might be too exhilarated from the exercising. So that's definitely an issue that like my husband has. He has to pay attention to when he is uh, physically active. Um, you can also remove um, distractions in your bed bedroom like technology, um, TV, um, avoid your, your phone, your screen before you go to bed um, to help your mind and even your eyes kind of relax. Um, and then you can think about other things like relaxing the body by a warm bath, um, drinking tea, um, something that will help to relax you. And then reset your internal clock by going to bed and waking up at the same time every night and morning. And that is really can be really beneficial for you. So this is kind of a cool concept and I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about how to utilize um, essential oils and how to kind of program your, your mind and your body to respond to that essential oil. So what makes essential oils useful for sleep is and how do they work with the body um, and it has something to do about the chemical makeup and essential oils have a lot of different chemical makeups within each um, essential oil that are very unique. Um, with combinations of different chemical constituents and and these chemicals are what give an essential oil its benefits and certain chemicals make an essential oil useful for cleaning or for soothing or warming uh, while other chemicals make an essential oil good for calming or invigorating or cooling uh, because each essential oil is taken from a different plant or part plant part um, they can develop completely different unique chemical profiles and thus have a completely unique set of benefits. So that's kind of why cinnamon and clove, even though they come from the same plant, have very unique chemical properties and abilities in the body. So by choosing essential oils with chemicals that hold relaxing and calming and soothing benefits, it's easy to use essential oils to promote a peaceful environment for sleep. So here's how it works. Real simple, when you inhale the aroma of an essential oil with calming properties, it induces a response in the body or the brain for relaxation. And typically this type of relax, uh, this reaction helps relax the body and promotes a good a night's sleep, a restful night's sleep. And once you've had a good night's sleep, after using a specific oil, the brain makes a connection between the smell of the oil and the quality of sleep, okay? Um, this is called a positive association and established positive association promotes further use of the essential oil in a regular bedtime routine to help you repeat the practice of a good night's sleep. So it's, you introduce that essential oil, you get that good re sleep that you've been wanting and then you want to repeat. So it's kind of like the rinse rather repeat method. You know, you're going to use it ever more and more. And then, you know, you may find that you're falling asleep faster because your body remembers, your sense of smell remembers, oh, this is the essential oil really helped me with sleep. And so being consistent on what you're going to use for sleep is going to be really crucial. And getting in that routine is really going to make a difference. So in addition to a variety of essential oils to choose from, there are many um, effective ways to use an essential oil to promote a good night's sleep. Um, and as we discussed, you might need to experiment with a few different kinds of oils to find the best essential oil or combination of oils um, to help you fall asleep. And, um, so I'm gonna show you a slide. I'm gonna see if I can turn my phone around so you can see the um, the methods that they're going to be talking about. Let me see if I can turn this around. Oh my goodness, it's not going to let me turn it around. Not anymore. Oh, here we go. All right, so right here, um, we're going to talk a little bit about these uh, different ways to use essential oils, the di different methods like diffusion, bath, um, you know, using oils and, and linen sprays. Um, a heating pad or a neck wrap or just a massage like the aroma touch technique or in your teas um, at night. So let me see. So right off the bat, we're going to talk a little bit about diffusion, diffusion. And I'm going to actually give you, I think later on, I actually am going to talk a little bit more about some more diffusing recipes. But here's a few just off the top of mind. 
um, as you're creating that sleeping environment, um, these are some relaxing diffuser blends. So as you're getting ready to wind down, I usually have like a 30 minute relaxation re routine. Um, and so that would be a really good time to diff start turn on your diffuser. And a little tip that I learned from the empowerment series that doTERRA does from last month, um, one of the, the speakers suggested to fill up your diffusers in the morning. So as you're getting dressed and making beds and, and getting uh, started in the day, that she suggested at that time to go ahead and fill your diffuser up because at night, so often you get really tired or like me, I'm, I'm running trying to get kids into bed, that the last thing I'm thinking about is, okay, I gotta fill up the water in the diffuser. I need to you know, do this recipe to help out. So definitely is a great, um, great method um, to help out with that as well, okay? All right, we're gonna talk about um, also a warm bath or shower. Um, and this is really great. You can add it to your um, bath salts before you put it in your bath. Or if you do bubble baths for your kids, you can actually add the essential oils in the bubble bath. Or even I've done it in their shampoo um, to help them um, uh, have the essential oils and help them to relax in that bath time. Um, as well. So why don't you guys, we'll pause for a minute and you let me know be below if you guys are a warm, a ba uh, if you're a bath person or a shower person. Now, um, as you guys are commenting on that, um, I will tell you like the shower is super easy. You're just going to add a couple of drops to the bottom of the shower and turn on the shower. And so I loved using um, oils like eucalyptus um, to, to help relax me and open my airways up. Um, before I go to bed. So that's a really good shower oil on there. But go ahead and just post on there. I'm just curious as we, we get some engagement, see who's sticking with me um, on this as well. All right, so we're gonna move on to um, pillows and bedding. So um, this, we I posted earlier uh, today about linen sprays. Um, but this really can make a difference um, with your kids. So you can do the linen spray. There's lots of different recipes. Um, this one gives you a couple examples like lavender and cedarwood or um, bergamot plus vetiver or sandalwood and langolang. So it gives you some ideas of some oils that you could use to drop um, a drop on your pillow. Or if you have that spray, you can spritz your pillows. Um, I found that if you spray it before uh, why the kids are brushing their teeth, you know, it gives some um, chance for the pillow and the sheet to kind of dry, but then it smells really, really good. And don't forget if you have kids spraying their favorite blanket or their stuffed animal can really make a difference um, with them, especially if they snuggle with them at night. So super helpful for that. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about heating pad and net rack and wraps. And um, so this one just has a recipe right here. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, with a kitchen towel, a sewing machine, some flax seeds, and some essential oils. And so sometimes you could even just make the, uh, have um, a rice bag and heat it up that way. Um, but sometimes we carry so much stress on the back of our necks that having something um, warm before we go to sleep kind of helps us to calm down and and relax a little bit. Now, sometimes topical applications and massage can really make a difference with the kid, uh, with um, relaxing at night. So that's why I know sometimes uh, kids really like the essential oils being put on the bottoms of their feet before they go to bed. As you massage their feet, that actually helps them relax a little bit better. So some of the areas that are really great, the necks and the shoulders, the temples, your wrists, um, are great places to massage. And then if you know the Aroma Touch hand technique, this would also be a great um, type of massage that you can do with a specific relaxation oil. And we're not gonna go into the Aroma Touch technique, but you can go to aromatouchtechnique.com and you can actually watch a video and they'll show you how to do that. Or if you've had a consultation with me or hopefully some of my team members, that they are all well versed in how to do the Aroma Touch hand massage, that they can make sure that you learn how to do it. OK, 
okay? All right, and lastly, you can do warm teas, um, non-caffeinated, non-stimulatory. Um, I love to put just um, hot water with um, honey and lemon in it is really, really good. Um, but anything um, like that really is helpful in relaxing it. Um, sometimes I'll do honey and um, on guard um, as well, or honey and cinnamon. Um, really kind of helps out a little bit. But warm teas can also help you relax a little bit as you go forth and go on. Um, these just highlight some of the diffusers. Sorry, it's kind of my fo focus thing is kind of not as focused. Oh, my phone is not, not doing so great. So this might be a little fuzzy for you, but it just shows you some of the diffusers that Do doTERRA has. And I'm going to turn this around here. Um, and hang this back up so you guys can see me again. Um, some of the diffusers are great for um, at nighttime. Um, the new Lo 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 Lumo actually uh, changes colors. So that one's a really good one for kiddos, especially if they like the changing of the colors. I found that the petal is great for um, being able to turn the light off during the night so that you don't have the, the light on there, as well as um, the petal, diff or not the pillow, the um, aroma light is small and travel sized and can and last pretty much almost all night. So I like those, um, those different ways. And I would tell you when you're diffusing, uh, remember to clean out your diffuser um, because it's gonna have a lot of gunk in it. And um, so I try, I'm trying to now in my user group post a monthly reminder when I'm cleaning my diffusers. And if you're not sure how to clean a diffuser, I have videos on my YouTube channel. So just look for Caroline Lee doTERRA diamond and you'll, you'll be able to find cleaning diffuser video on how to walk you through on that. But if we're going to use them every single night. We want to make sure that we're cleaning them and taking care of them. All right. So I want to talk really quickly before I dive into the, some of the essential oils that you can use to help you relax. I really want to just talk a little bit more about uh, nutrition and um, some products that can help you uh, when it comes to feeling better. So um, our number one selling product is the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And my throughout my seven years of experience with doTERRA, it has been responsible for helping the most amount of people with the most amount of ailments. And, and it's because if your body gets the nutrition that it needs, then it should work efficiently like it's supposed to. So um, the three core products in our Vitality Pack are formulated to provide you with effective levels of essential nutrients and powerful metabolical factors for optimal health, energy, and longevity. So essential oils with your vitamins actually allow the body to absorb the nutrients more effectively, making the supplements really amazing. So the Vitality Pack benefits, you know, general wellness and vitality. It's an antioxidant and DNA protector. Okay, as we age, we want that protection. And energy and metabolism, okay, we're gonna, that's gonna help you produce more energy naturally. Bone health, it helps with immune system function. It helps with stress management. Remember, if we are super stressed, we may have trouble sleeping. Cardiovascular health, it's gonna help with healthy skin, nails, um, eye, brain, nervous system, liver function, digestive health, lung, respiratory health. It's gentle on the stomach. Um, it's non-GMO and gluten-free and dairy-free. So um, really is a great um, supplement that you could be taking on every single day to kind of help it with it. So um, I posted earlier, I think it was yesterday, the picture of the afternoon slump. Um, I don't know how many of you guys actually deal with that afternoon slump. Um, if you do, shout it out. Let me know if that's something that you suffer with um, in the afternoon, you kind of it's like Thanksgiving dinner when you eat all the turkey and then all of a sudden you're gonna fall over because you're so tired. So just shout out, you're, you're normal, you're in good company because probably all of us have afternoons where we feel like we're just gonna fall asleep or we just lack that of motivation to get going. So daytime sleepless, sleeplessness 
um, is a real issue with a lot of people. And um, if it happens too frequently, um, some lifestyle changes can help out. So we talked about re making a relaxing routine when you're going to sleep. Uh, we're talking about your diet and exercising, um, but some um, ideas of what to use for um, energy or a pick-me-up above and beyond the lifelong vitality are some essential oils like peppermint, wild orange, lime, and lemon. Um, if you guys have ever used the joyful blend, um, which is elevation, um, the invigorating blend, which is citrus bliss, or the cleansing blend. Anybody know what the cleansing blend is? It's purify, right? Um, applied topically or, or diffused can be really invigorating, rejuvenating, and uplifting. So um, some people like to drink the citrus in their water or peppermint in their water. I love spearmint. Spearmint is uh, one of my favorites um, in uplifting my mood, but drinking it makes a big difference. Um, so I try to make sure that I do that in the afternoon. Um, but you can also diffuse these or um, apply them on the back of your neck or the reflex points to kind of wake you up a little bit. One of our favorite things to do at classes is to do peppermint and wild orange um, to kind of help with focus, you know, right? We want to be alert and pay attention and kind of wake up. And so those are great ones. The last one I want to mention to you is the Mito2 Max. I've got this right here. So sometimes you need a little bit more help. And so instead of reaching for the sugary drink or the caffeinated drink, consider your Mito2 Max supplement. And this one actually is a, uh, pro, uh, pro, it's a formula with plant extracts, extracts and metabolical cofactors that support a healthy cellular energy um, production. So um, the benefits of this one is it gives, um, a, let me see, I want to make sure I get this right here. So I'm going to read this part. Promotes effective production of ATP in the mitochondria of cells. So mitochondria actually produces the energy in our life, our, our, our cells. So we're going to feed that. Um, and so we can create natu uh, energy naturally. Enhances stamina and is effective use for oxygen. Supports metabolism adaption for diverse uh, activities from movie watching to marathon running. So it doesn't matter what you're going to do. It's going to help with that energy. Um, and then also improves mental energy because it's going to increase the blood flow. And if we increase the blood flow, even in the brain, right, it's going to help you with your, your focus and what you can do to think. All righty. So we're going to show some picture or, you know what, I think I'll show you a picture really quick. I'm going to turn this around. And if you guys see an oil on here that you have tried for sleep, shout it out. Let me know. So this is a few oils as we're going to get into this that are great for sleep. <coughs> we're going to talk about several more, but we've got on this slide bergamot, aroma chamomile, lavender, serenity, vetiver um, on that list as well. So the very first, let me turn this back around, you guys. All right, we're trying this Facebook Live thing, and this is a... A new thing for me I'm used to doing like zoom and so all right so we're gonna talk about like lavender um, I think most people are familiar with lavender when it comes to sleep and it's a it's a favorite for all ages from newborns to grandparents um, some of the benefits of lavender is it uh, it's very supportive to releasing tension and allows you to release inner thoughts and feelings. So lavender has been used and cherished for centuries for its unmistakable aroma and, and benefits. And so in ancient times, just so you know about the Egyptians and the Romans, they used lavender for baths. They used it for relaxation and they used it for cooking um, as well as a perfume. And it's widely used for its calming and relaxation properties. Um, Let's see, it's also used topically for skin imperfections. So when it comes to healing, it's really, really good. You can add it to your bath water. Um, it's a great one for kids um, to kind of melt away the stress. You can apply it to the temples and the back of your neck. 
Um, you can use the lavender in those um, sprays or drop them on your pillow to help it. Um, it's, a, it's definitely an essential oil to have on hand at all times because of the, the many uses of lavender. Um, have you guys used the lavender before? Um, I think that's one of the most common used essential oils around. All right, so I'm going to talk about really two families of essential oils, grounding and soothing oils, um, because there's going to be a point at the, you know, once I tell you all of them, I'm going to see which one that you prefer. Are you prefer more of a grounding oil or do you prefer more of a soothing oil? And why that is kind of really important when it comes to using um, essential oils. And I'm going to get into a little bit of a science. Sorry, I kind of have that sciency part of me. And so hopefully you guys like it too. So this is like chemistry 101 class. So kind of keep it really, really basic, but we're going to talk about grounding oils. Okay. So grounding oils are similar to each chemical. Uh, they're each other chemically um, as they start with the same, what we call backbone. So sepsis, I'm going to see if I can say this right, sesquinserpenes, I can't say it fast, are found abundantly in essential oils. And this constitutes, or constituent is soothing to irritated skin and tissues. If they have this chemical in it, it's a calming oil. Um, it has analgesic properties. And some researches have shown that sesquinserpenes have the ability to pass through the blood brain barrier, which is actually the most guarded part of our bodies. Um, they're also known to have stronger aromas. So if you're one of those people that strong smells, you, you know, just are, it's too potent for you, you may not want the grounding oils. You may want to do more of a soothing oil. So some of these oils that fall in this category are sandalwood, vetiver, and cedarwood. And all of these oils, you can diffuse them or you can apply them topically to the bottoms of your feet. So I'm going to talk a little bit specifically about cedarwood because I, I don't want to use up all your time tonight, but you can definitely learn more about sandalwood and vetiver. It looked like some of you guys liked vetiver, carry, and ginger use it um, in a, a combination um, for sleep. But cedarwood is a great one. This is actually one of the ones that my my older daughter uses on occasion. She likes to mix up a little bit of her oil usages and sometimes she uses her lavender and sometimes serenity and, and sometimes she grabs the cedar wood. So um, a little bit about cedar wood. So it's native to cold climates and it thrives in high altitudes and the cedar wood tree grows up to 100 feet tall. Um, because of the size and the strength of the cedar wood, you can imagine that the emotional feelings that cedar wood evokes of wellness and vitality. It's a great oil that you can apply topically and has very clarifying properties. So it's really soothing to the skin um, and it helps relax the body and mind. It's steam distilled from the wood of the tree and given its slightly herbish aroma. Okay, so it naturally will repel insects and it's known to pr pr promote relaxation. So it's definitely a great essential oil. Um, some ways, that practical uses, besides just do doing it topical, you know, after a difficult day, you can diffuse um, cedar wood. Um, you can actually add it to one to two drops to your facial um, cleanser, um, or you can place it on a cotton ball and uh, wear moss, you know, you want to protect your linen, so you can do that as well. So um, be mindful about kids and doses. If you're going to use this topically, you want to make sure that you look and see if you need to dilute this one or not. Some people may have some sensitivity because it's a stronger oil uh, when it comes to topical. So you never can hurt yourself by diluting. It's always re recommended to do that. So. Um, so w would you rather diffuse cedar wood or would you rather use it topical? Let's ask that question as we begin to move to the soothing oils. Okay. All right. Let me see. I've got some soothing oils here that we're going to talk about. All right. So soothing oils can be found among the 
terpenes and the monoterpenes. See, monoterpene is so much easier for me to say, right? <laughs> so what are monoterpenes? Okay, they are the most common class of terpenes and essential oils, and they have com con constituents like esters, um, and they are known for being very calming, relaxing, and they, they help balance the central nervous system, okay? So monoterpenes um, also have aldehydes, and um, let's see, um, what is it, Al can, uh, properties of aldehydes are not just common, um, calming physically, but they also calm your emotions and your auto, uh, autonomic nervous system. So um, they usually have strong floral scents. So we have our grounding ones, which have the, you know, more of the woodsy smell to it and the strong that one. This one is more of a floral. Um, and again, they has both the sesqu sesquinterpenes and the monoterpenes. So some of the soothing oils that you might be familiar with already are Lang Lang, which actually looks kind of silly. It's got the Y, L-A-N-G, and it's twice, you like the yin and the yang type of thing, but it's called Lang Lang, uh, Melissa, Lavender, and Roman Chamomile. And so I thought I would talk a little bit about Roman Chamomile. It's now back in stock. There's a time period that we ran out of Roman Chamomile, and I know that um, Cami Yu used that bum spray and the bum spray is uh, lavender and Roma chamomile. And so let's talk a little bit about the benefits of Roma chamomile. It's very, it's got a lot of calming ev effects for the skin, mind, and body. So here's some interesting facts about Roma chamomile. Um, Roma chamomile grows close to the ground and reaches up to about a foot in height. Um, it has gray green leaves and flowers that resemble like a daisy um, and it smells kind of like an apple. So the plant is actually nicknamed the physician's plant, the plant's physicians, because it's found to have positive effects on the plants that grow nearby. Kind of cool, huh? Ancient Romans used the oil for courage as they were going off to war. And while most commonly used um, in chamomile uh, teas, Roma chamomile can also be found in the face cream, in drinks, hairs, uh, dyes, shampoos, and perfume. Um, so definitely it helps soothe the body system. And it's steam distilled from the flower of the plant. So just really kind of a cool essential oil. Um, some other calming and soothing oils, let's make sure, oh, that I can mention now that I think about it. Um, clary sage, wild orange, um, citrus bliss, the invigorating blend, um, vetiver, okay, so we mentioned vetiver is also a, um, a grounding oil, but it's also a soothing oil, interesting, right? Geranium, melissa, sandalwood, bergamot, and rose. So sandalwood and vetiver, are both grounding and soothing. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so question for you guys. Are you thinking that you're gonna like more of the grounding or the soothing oils? So for those that want a, a picture or something that they can um, capture, screen capture, I'm gonna show you just a, ooh, Totally turned on my light too on there. So um, this is just a whole bunch of essential oils. Some of them that we mentioned, some of them we didn't talk, talk about um, right there for you some more ideas. Um, one of the oils that I would add on here that I've had huge success with lately is the new, uh, it's in the yoga con collection called Anchor. And it is amazing. Um, I have used it, try to use it in the morning and at night to help out with me um, and kind of just grounding me. It's one of those grounding oils, right? Anchor. Um, it does have some florals in it, so I bet you it's at both soothing and grounding oil. Uh, but if that's one that I would add to the list. Um, if you've not tried the yoga blends, they are amazing. So I'm gonna turn this back around so that you can see me again. I'm gonna hang this back up. 
All right. So one other thing that I want to share with you to to you, and I'm going to pose a question for you guys, is how many of you guys remember your dreams? So leave it in the comment. Do you are you a person that remembers vivid dreams? Are you a person that doesn't remember your dreams very well? And we're going to talk a little bit about this um, as well. Um, just in case you have a kid that, or you yourself suffer from night terrors, right? Or scary dreams or unpleasant dreams. It can be really, really scary um, uh, when you have a nightmare. And so we're going to talk about, you know, what that does. Like that, usually when you have a nightmare, you have a sleepless night, you have lack of focus, you're exhausted, you're irritable. And I really just want to talk about this essential oil called juniper berry. And when Joseph was little, he would have some uh, bad dreams and stuff. And so this was something that we would diffuse juniper berry to help out with um, alleviating, alleviating some of those negative uh, nightmares that he's having. And um, so it, juniper berry can invoke feelings of health and love and peace. It can support um, an un uninterrupted night sleep. So if you're one of those people that kind of wake up in the middle of the night um, or several times during the night, consider diffusing juniper berry, okay? Um, it encourages the, um, individuals to face their fear, um, especially those that they've been avoiding. So it also has the ability to cleanse and purify the air, and it has a very fresh uh, aroma, a very calming and grounding effect. Um, so a little bit about juniper berry. It's deri derived from the coniferous tree. Um, Let's see, it's natural cleanse, cleanser, detoxifying agent, supports healthy kid, kidney and urinary tract functions. Um, great for the skin. It's just got a woody spice and aroma. Don't know if there's anything else I wanna talk about that. Um, yeah, so, um, so hopefully that helps you guys. I don't know. Um, sometimes you can look even on diet. If um, a kid is having night terrors on a regular basis, I would suggest looking at their diet to see if there's anything that you can do to do and change uh, with that. But if you have nightmares and need some help in just relaxing or staying asleep during the night, um, consider Junior Perberry. I also know Clary Sage helps women when it comes to sleeping during the night too, is a good one to, to use as well. All right, so lavender um, emotions. I think I already wanted to talk about grounding. All right, so I wanna talk a little bit about some of the blends that are out there that you can use to help with sleep. Um, and there's only a few that I'm gonna mention here, but looking for my bottle here. All right, so balance. Okay, Balance is a really good oil um, that promotes a whole body sense of relaxation. That's actually why it's uh, mentioned. It's called the grounding blend for a reason. Um, and it, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cheat and, and read that. It has spruce, cinnamon, oh, sorry, no, spruce, hoe wood, frankincense, blue tansy, blue calamine, and coconut oil. And um, this is great in relaxing, uh, helping you relax. So I noticed a couple people joining in late, um, which is totally fine. You can catch the recording of this, but make sure that you comment. Let me know that you're there. And then if I ask a question, you know, answer the question in the comment section so that I know you're watching so I can make sure that you get a free ebook at the end of the class. Um, so we're talking about that on balance. So you can add a few drops of balance to your diffuser. You can apply it to your neck or the bottoms of your feet or during a massage before bed. So this one, it really helps invoke feelings of tranquility and balance as the name suggests. And this is actually a really good essential oil to use at the beginning and at the end um, of your day. So begin, you could start it out with this um, and it kind of reminds me the way that it makes me feel when I use it is it's like a giant stake that goes through my head and down to my feet and deep into the water of the earth so that i feel i feel very safe i feel 
especially if I feel a little overwhelmed, like I have so many things to, to do or if I'm super stressed, it just helps me do like just feel connected and okay. And so this is a great one that you can diffuse um, that will be very beneficial um, to you, your guys' um, oil collection and definitely be one to, to utilize. All righty, um, another blend. And I kind of joked that yeah, the other day, um, my husband was really loud when he was sleeping. And um, so I diffused this oil to help. Um, and I, I apologize, I don't have it out here on my little thing. So you can pretend like I'm holding the bottle of Breathe. But that is an essential oil blend that actually you can use for a peaceful night's sleep. It um, has oils like peppermint, eucalyptus, uh, maluca, cardamom, and lemon um, that helps clean up the airways and give you a, um, or f gives you a feeling that you've got clear airways. Um, but it also can calm the senses down and promote a restful night's sleep. And I think for me, I think it's, it has a lot to do with that eucalyptus. I just always think of melting in a hot sauna with the eucalyptus. And so whenever I smell that, it just makes me feel relaxed. But this is designed to help you not only breathe easier. So if you have those nighttime sounds, you know, when somebody's sleeping, um, maybe consider diffusing some of the breathe on there. Um, you can apply, you can apply this one topically as well. You can use the touch roller if you want to avoid any sensitivities uh, where it's already diluted with a carrier oil. Um, but this is a great essential oil to, that you can utilize when you're sleeping. The last blend that I want to talk about, actually there's, sorry, I, there's actually two blends, but um, this blend I'm going to talk about is um, Serenity. Uh, and I don't know how many of you guys have used Serenity, um, but this is like a miracle worker. This one I love a lot. Um, this promotes relaxation and helps to calm the body down. And there is actually a two pack that you can use when it comes to sleep, the Serenity Soft Gel and the Serenity Oil Blend. And this is a mint, you can use them separately or you can use them together, um, but together it can be really, really powerful um, on there. So the, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Serenity Soft Gels um, for you guys so that you can learn a little bit about the powerful things now this actually combines lavender and natural plant extracts to encourage restful night sleep. And the formula was designed to help you to get a, um, night, a good night's sleep without feeling sleepy um, the next day. So in the comment section, let me know, have you tried the Serenity Soft Gels? Um, I know for me, I don't um, need to take the full dose. Like you could take up to, I think two of them. Yeah, up to two, and I can take one. If I take two, I have super crazy dreams, which means I'm getting deep sleep. I'm getting in that REM cycle. Um, but um, let me know if you've tried the Serenity on there. Um, you can also find Serenity in other products like the um, Serenity Bath Bar. Um, so again, if you are a bath, a bather, or a shower, you take a shower before you go to bed, um, adding that Serenity Bath Bar at night can be really helpful um, in helping you to relax and create that routine um, on there. Alrighty, what else was I gonna do? All right, oh, okay, this happened to me and I don't know about you. So sometimes I do some more physical activity than I usually do. And I don't know about you, if you tried to sleep or maybe it's your kids will start complaining that their legs hurt, growing pains. And so I just wanted to bring this up because last night we went running and um, I was a little sore from running and I had a couple, I woke up kind of uncomfortable. And so I just want to highlight um, Deep Blue. This is the touch roller ball. I like the touch roller ball at, um, during the winter time because it doesn't have the peppermint, the cooling sensation from the peppermint. Um, but if you don't like that, you can always try wintergreen. Wintergreen is actually really warming to the skin. Um, and so, especially if you're cold, uh, that was a really, really good one. But those are designed to help soothe the muscles. It's called, you know, Deep Blue is called the soothing blend for a reason. It's gonna help relax with that. And Audra, you, you put a great, um, 
a great comment on there it helps with restless legs so yes so this is a great one to to help just help calm the body down relax it um, especially if you've had a strenuous day um, or the tendons are stretching because you're growing um, this can help relax you um, and can it can really help your sleep especially if you're suffering all right let me see where i'm at here on my notes Oh, okay. So I had a good question I was going to ask. Let me, let me pull out another question for you guys to answer for me. Um, let me look at my notes here. All right. So, um, all right, really quickly, you guys can ask me if you would prefer adding essential oils straight to your bath or using bath salts. So go ahead, if you're watching us live, go ahead and um, let me know if you add your essential oils directly to the bath salts or do you just add oil straight in your water? I'm just curious on that. All right, the last subject that I wanna to touch on was um, little kids. So I know that somebody was saying that they had trouble with, um, you know, with a little baby you know how to, to sleep and we just want to talk a little bit of ways that we can use um to support our kids i'm looking for my notes that's why i'm like you see me looking around there all right bed, beds for everyone so um all right so um i think the one of the first essential oils that i remember having such a dramatic effect when I got introduced to such oils, our third child was about just born, like really. I, I had in, was introduced to essential oils about three or four months before he was born. And so he really was my guinea pig when it came to using essential oils. And I remember applying lavender to, to his um, body wash when he would go to, when we had to give him a bath before he went to bed, or we would just add it to some lotion and rub it in on his feet or along his spine. And how amazed I was that he slept at that point. The first time we did it, it he slept for about four, four or five hours straight. And I was just amazed. I was like, holy cow, this is like the secret that mothers, all mothers should know. And um, I was really excited that I could start utilizing essential oils for sleep with my kids. And really my tips for using it for kids is to be as consistent as you can with it. Um, you know, they usually have a bedtime routine, and so find out what works well for you. For many years, we had roller balls in a little makeup bag, um, and they were all different options for sleep. Some of them were lavender, some of them were balance, um, and they were pre-diluted for them. And at night, they would just choose whatever essential oil that they wanted to use on the bottoms of your feet. And so that's just, you know, create that routine for them. Um, it's also a great time. A lot of kids have uh, physical touch as their love language. And so being able to cuddle with them, massage the essential oil in to their feet, really gives them an opportunity to connect with you as their adult, as their parent or their grandparent. Um, and it can really help. So definitely the linen spray is super helpful to spraying down their bed, their favorite um, stuffed animal, um, all of those can be really, really helpful. But what I want to give you is the Monster Spray. So in case you have your kids who are scared of little monsters, they need you to check the closets or under the beds or below the window, um, um, you can give them this little spray to deter um, uh, monsters and it will actually help in calming them down and relaxing them so that they can um, do really really good so um, looking for my recipe here that's not it oh here we go monster be gone spray and I'm gonna actually turn my phone around so you guys can see it um, because I think you need to to learn this one so I don't have it in a fancy slide. This is actually on my notes here um, for my, my thing, but it, it takes one to two drops of cedar wood, 
two to three drops of lavender and then one two drops restful blend which is that serenity blend you could do a tablespoon of witch hazel or I, i've used fractionated coconut oil and then one fourth teaspoon sea salt and again the sea salt just makes it so that it doesn't clog the sprayer that's really what it's for you're going to add the essential oils to the spray bottle you know and then add the witch hazel or the coconut oil and the sea salt and squirt the bottle or, or you know shake the bottle to mix the oils around um, add water until the bottle is approximately three-fourths full and then put the spraying cap on there okay and then what's really fun is having the kids help decorate it you know um, making it look like monster eyes or something like that um, so it becomes really really fun in order to um, to connect with them so um, I feel like if you can empower your kids um, in ways to how the, they can use the essential oils and conquer some of those fears there are really kind of fun and creative ways to do that. Um, the other thing that they have, this person actually developed some songs to spray as they're spraying it around the room. So I'm gonna sing a little bit to you. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, so for girls, this person suggested to sing the song to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. So this is her example. So. Sarah squirts the monster spray, monster spray, monster spray. Sarah squirts the monster spray to keep them all away. Right? Okay. Um, or for boys, you can have them sing to the tune of London Bridges Falling Down. All the monsters, um, wait, how do we go? London Bridges Falling Down. All the monsters run away, run away, run away. All, when I fire the monster spray in my bedroom. I think that was Mary Had a Little Lamb. Anyways, that's how you sing it. All the monsters run away, run away, run away when I fire the monster spray in my bedroom. Okay, guys. And um, to the tune of London Bridges Falling Down. So if you can master that, I think you are going to be the, the best parent hands down on there. So really quickly, if you are watching this, would you have your kids or your grandkids enjoy this fun activity to get rid of scary things. Is that something that you guys would try to do at all? Let me hear it in the comment section. All right, as I'm wrapping up, I'm getting done with this. We're going to get ready to close the class. Thank you for joining me and, and hanging in here. Uh, but I just want to impress on you some of the factors, some of the things that we talked about are lifestyle choices. You know, we're talking about good nutrition, so getting good supplementation to help with a good night's sleep, um, exercising. Um, uh, what is your room like? Do you have like low lighting? Is it dark? Um, or is it free from electronic screens so you can unwind your eyes and your brains? Um, you know, maybe a, a nice hand massage will help you do it. Uh, making sure incorporating exercise, regular exercise can help with your sleep. And then of course, diffusing um, some essential oils um, can really make a difference. So I did have a nifty little sign, let me see if I can pull it up, of some, some recipes for you guys to use for your diffusers. I'm gonna pull this around so you guys can, if you wanna do a screenshot of it, you can, although now I think you just see my light. For some reason, my flash is on. Um, but I'll post this for you guys in the group um, and then um, after we get off the phone call so that you can actually download this as well. But these are just some options that doTERRA has of diffusing recipes um, for you. And again, I would recommend that in the morning, Fill your diffuser up before you um, go out so that, you know, for the day so that you're not having to think about that um, as you're getting yourself ready to bed, as you're so tired and you're trying to convince yourself to go brush your teeth and floss your teeth and wash your face and, you know, do all the good things that you're supposed to do. Um, so just remember diffusion can be such um, a, a great way to use essential oils to help you sleep. So with that, um, the last thing I want to mention to you guys as we're closing up, it's nine o'clock. If you don't currently have an account uh, with doTERRA, I'm going to highly suggest that um, to you. Um, 
And feel free to add people to this event or let people know about this class. The class will be available um, until midnight Eastern time on Saturday morning. So if you have made comments, every comment that you've made in this event group and on this video will get you an entry into uh, my drawing for a Citrus Bliss hand lotion, which is my little secret trick on my kids to make them happy. So when they're super grumpy, I get the Citrus Bliss hand lotion on and say, oh my goodness, your hands are super dry. So let's put some of this on and voila, it's amazing. They become happy. And so we're gonna give that away just as a thank you. Um, and then again, all your comments during the, the class um, will let me know that you watched it so I can send you that free ebook through the messenger. Um, if you don't want it um, sent to the messenger, then um, reach out to me and uh, provide me with an email address and I can email you that ebook as well. Um, so I just thank you for joining me really quick. If you are brand new to doTERRA, I'm just going to really, this is a new year, new you event where you can actually earn some free product uh, with getting started with doTERRA. And so really quickly, uh, for those that want to leave, can, you can go ahead and leave. But those who are maybe interested in getting doTERRA products and getting some of these oils um, into their household, um, I'm going to talk about how to do that. And so I uh, really encourage those that already have their accounts to, to put some of these oils we talked to you about, uh, about tonight on your LRP. It's a great way to get free points on top of getting um, the cheapest price. So there are two ways to buy uh, oils from doTERRA. It's retail or wholesale. Um, most people, I would say, I can say nine and a half people out of 10, right? We're going to slash one of those people in half. Um, get a membership. They see the value of getting a discount. It's like a Costco or a Sam's Club discount. You're going to save 25% off and you're going to buy it wholesale, which is great, right? Um, and you can become a wholesale customer or a wellness advocate like myself. It makes it super um, amazing to get it at a cheaper price. So most people don't do the retail. Most people do the wholesale account because they can see themselves purchasing more than once a year. So again, there's even two options for that. So once you've decided whether or not to do you want to do a retail or a wholesale, your next choice is how you want to do that. So there are, you know, the easiest way to do it, one of the ways to do it is $35, and then you can hand pick your oil. So, you know, you can look at what oils we've discussed in the class tonight and pay $35, and you'll pay the membership prices for all the oils that you add to that. Um, but I have some people who don't even want to do that. They want to get at things at the cheapest price and the best deal. And so um, they will get starter kits. And so I would encourage you to talk to the person who invited you this evening to see what the starter kits are because the starter kits are um, really amazing. Um, they're your book and your box. And so with a book and a box, you can know how to use essential oils. Um, your book is um, that comes with your membership, and so it's going to talk about oil usages and have your stickers in there. And that box is going to have some of the um, most common essential oils that are around. So do get with that person. Find out if a kit is a best fit for you. Um, with your membership, you get a lot of the education like we're doing right now, but in education groups and um, a lot of uh, useful uh, tips with your wellness advocate that gets you involved. So one of the worst things that I've always said when it comes to using essential oils that could ever happen to somebody is they buy oils and they never open the bottles. So my job as a wellness advocate is to teach you how to use them. Make sure that you're opening them up, that you're seeing what works with you and what doesn't work with you. Um, what application method is the best? Um, are you a, a diffuser kind of person or are you more of an internal use uh, kind of individual? So we want to work with your wellness advocate and figure that out. All right, so here's the promotion for this month. Um, you have five days to take advantage. So this counts as one day, Wednesday. So you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You have to do an order by Sunday night. And um, this is a New Year, New You promo. So if you want to break up your order and you do a 100 point value, which is about $100 in oil for your very first purchase, so you can do your $35 and then buy $100 worth of oils, 
or you can do one of the starter kits. All the starter kits um, count in this promotion. And then next month, you order another 100 point um, of essential oil. And that's actually really simple and easy to do, especially as you're getting started and you're getting um, sitting down with a wellness advocate that's getting you started and you're specifically targeting some of those health concerns that I know everybody has, you know, uh, that they're dealing with. And we want to make sure that we cater your essential oils to your needs. So you're going to start having some specific oils that you're looking for. So it's really easy to get to that 100. You do 100 that second month on the loyalty rewards program. And voila, you earn 100 PV as well. So definitely um, is really easy. You do 100 PV uh, this month, 100 PV next month, and then you get a free $100 worth of uh, product credits in essential oils. So the code is, I'm going to turn this around so you can see it. So that um, if you are going to enroll, make sure the person that is getting you started, if they're going to do that for you, that they put this code in the promotion block. Jan Cheer PPT is the promotion code for that. So again, that will be valid until Sunday for you uh, when you're getting started. And with that, I appreciate uh, you guys joining us this evening. I, I've got five more classes in this series, so hopefully you'll join me next week as we discuss aromatherapy and how that can help us and our families. So take care and have a blessed day. Happy oiling.